Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video, I wanted to test out the new Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. Well, they're not necessarily a new product, but they are a new release to Australia and I have been dying to get my hands on these. I've seen them being used all over YouTube by my favorite YouTubers and it was really sad that they weren't available here in Australia. So as soon as I found out they were available at Chemist Warehouse, I ran on down there to pick them up. So today I'm going to test them out for you and let you know my thoughts. So the blush forms are a liquid blush and they are described to give a natural looking flush with a radiant finish. The formula is said to be silky, lightweight and buildable. So as I said, I did pick these up from Chemist Warehouse. I do believe this is the only place in Australia that does stock Flower Beauty. Now there are six shades in the entire range if you're in the US, but here in Australia we only have two at the moment. So there's Bubbly, which is a really bright pink, and Pinched, which is a nice muted kind of peach. The blush comes with nine mils of product and it retails for $10. I actually noticed on the US site they retail for $10 as well. It's very unusual that the prices will match up in US versus Australian dollars. Usually when a product comes to Australia, it's like 10 times more expensive. So that was a nice little surprise. Okay, so here are some swatches of the two shades. This one up here is bubbly and this here is pinched. I think I'm going to go in with pinched. It just looks a bit more natural, not as vibrant as the bubbly shade. So we'll see how it goes. Now I have done most of my makeup. I have put on foundation, concealer, and a cream bronzer. I haven't put any powder over the top though. So I think I'm going to go and apply it with my fingers. I've been watching Jessica Braun use these for years and she always uses her fingers. So one side I'll try my fingers and the other side I'll try to brush and just see how they go. All right, so I've just got some on my palette here. It doesn't have a scent, which is nice. I'm like really nervous to use my finger because I, I never do like, okay, I've got a little bit here. It's quite a thin formula. Okay, that's actually blending out quite nicely and it's not lifting up anything underneath, which is what I was scared of using my finger. A very natural shade. It doesn't have a lot of pigment. It's kind of blending into my bronzer. Maybe I should mix the two shades together. Hmm. So I'm going to use a brush now. This is my Kmart buffing brush. Hmm. I feel like the brush is actually lifting up product underneath just on my cheek here. So I'll use my finger instead. Okay, so I've just gone in with another layer on this side. It does build up really nicely and it's giving off a really beautiful sheen. It looks really healthy and natural. I think this shade might be better for when I am doing more natural no makeup looks because it's not giving me as much flush to the cheeks as I usually like. So let me go in with a bit of bubbly and I used it way too much as well. Look how much I still have left over. So I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of bubbly and let's add it to this side. Okay, yeah, that's giving me a little bit more of that rosy flush, which I like. I thought it might be a bit too of like a pastel pink, but it's actually quite nice. Ooh. I wish we did get all of the shades here in Australia because I still just feel like these two shades aren't my perfect blush shade. I'm gonna put a little bit of bubbly over on this side as well. All right, well, I think that looks really good. I'm loving the glowy sheen that it's leaving. I'm going to finish my makeup and then we will zoom in and talk a bit more about it. So here is a close up with my makeup complete. Overall, my first impressions of these blushes are that I absolutely love them. I 100% agree with the claims that they are silky, lightweight, and buildable. 
I don't know if it's just the shades I have, but I do wish there was just a little bit more pigment to them. Even though they are easily buildable, I still feel like it's quite a natural blush and I'm very fair. So if you're darker than me, you really have to build it up to get the color to show. I think this product would be absolutely beautiful if you're doing a no makeup makeup look or something very natural. They just give that beautiful sheen and glow to the skin, which I think makes your skin look so fresh and healthy. I usually apply all my cream products with a brush or a sponge, so I was really surprised by the fact that using my fingers worked really well. As for the packaging of the blush, it is a little bit unusual. I've never really seen something with this kind of applicator before, and it does mean you need to have something to put the blush on. I suppose you could just use the back of your hand and apply a little dot rub your fingers around in it and then pat it on. So you don't really need a palette. But yeah, it's definitely an interesting applicator and like I said, I've never seen anything like that before. I'm super keen to continue trying these out and see how they go, especially to see the lasting power of the blushes. Next time, I think I will just go in with Bubbly on its own and see how that looks. And then when I'm doing a no makeup makeup look, I'm excited just to do Pinched on its own. If you've tried these blushes out, leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts and what your favorite shade is. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I know it was short and sweet, but I really wanted to test these out for the first time on camera. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. You can also come follow me over on Instagram. And I just created a makeup TikTok account. So I will have that linked in the description box too if you want to go check it out. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.